Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is What is the effect on pressure as the volume of a gas inside a closed container increases? So here I'm considering a piston, which involves a volume, and I have a gas inside of this volume, and this volume is denoted as V1, and there's a pressure P1 due to these molecules or atoms bouncing off the edges. And then I consider a second instance, a time later, where I slowly have increased the volume. Now it's a volume V2, and I have a new pressure, P2. But I have the same number of atoms and molecules as before. So I can consider, using the ideal gas law as the typical approximation in these types of physical systems, where I have the pressure of the system times the volume, is equal to the number of moles, in other words, the number of particles, times the gas constant, R, times the temperature of the system. So if I assume that these don't change, then I can write down a formula for the pressure as nRT divided by the volume. So in the case of the initial time, I have P1 is equal to nRT divided V1. And in the second case, I have P2 is equal to nRT divided V2. Now if I assume that V2 is twice V1, in other words, I've doubled the initial volume, then I can substitute that into the expression for P2, the new pressure. So I have nRT divided 2 V1. And I recognize that this is just P1. So by doubling the volume, I have cut the initial pressure in half. So I can formulate a general relationship between initial and final pressure as P sub F for final pressure is equal to initial pressure times initial volume divided final volume. So if I double the volume, then I'm cutting the pressure in half. And this is the effect that changing the volume has on the pressure. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is what is the effect on pressure of the volume of a gas as the volume is increased.